I'm going to show you an easy hack to generalize polygons in ArcGIS Pro on the fly at any scale without having additional files to save or manage and with lots of finesse. One of the most tried and true generalization algorithms has to do with buffering a feature and then applying a negative buffer to that buffer and a lot of detail is lost in the process. We can hack into that concept using symbol effects in ArcGIS Pro. Here is a reasonably detailed layer and here's a copy of that layer that we're going to generalize. I'll open the details panel and in the structure tab I'm going to add a global effect called offset and then I'm gonna do the exact same thing a second time then over in the symbol tab I'll play with the properties of these offsets I'm gonna make them both accurate that's important that makes it more topologically correct and prevents it from looping in on top of itself in the first offset I'll apply whatever distance I want the higher the number the greater the generalization and the second offset distance is just the negative version of the first offset distance and adjusting the magnitude of the effect is super simple. I can turn the generalization up or down, and because it's just a symbol effect, the map updates. I don't have to create new files. And because these are just map point units and not actual geographic distances, the generalization effect reapplies at each scale. All you have to do is maintain that positive and negative balance of offsets. And fast, simple, on-the-fly generalization is ours. Now, because these offset effects are chained together, order matters. And so applying a positive and then a negative will give you a different result than a negative and a positive. Let's take a closer look at the difference that this positive or negative first order makes. Here's the coastline of southeastern Alaska, and here's our hacked generalization when we apply a positive offset first. And here are those same values except negative is applied first. Let's compare the difference between the two. Positive first will give you a more inclusive result. Complex edges just get absorbed into the blob, and it's friendlier to islands. Inlets and donut holes, however, will get filled in. Applying the negative offset first gives you a more exclusive result. Complex edges are just chopped right off. All those little islands sunk, but it's very friendly to inlets and donut holes. Which one is better? Well, like everything in cartography, it depends. It's up to you. Do you want to simplify edges? Use positive first. Are you island busting? Use negative first. It just depends on what your goals are. Here's that process once more. In your polygons symbology panel, apply a global offset twice. One of the offsets is a positive value and one of them is a negative value and then set its rendering option to accurate to fix any overlap errors. And then just like live your best life. 